Hello, welcome to the creating a property carousel widget tutorial. This tutorial will help you create a carousel widget that will display a row of properties with minimal details through which a visitor may scroll. Each property in the carousel widget can be clicked, which will navigate to the details page for that listing. To create a carousel widget, click design, widgets, and legacy. Click the create new button in the upper right hand corner. Select carousel from the drop down menu. Next, select which property set to feature from the drop down menu. This selection will dictate the next steps based on which property set you choose. Selecting featured properties will display any active listing associated with your agent ID or office ID. This property set will match the listing showing up in the active tab under listings in your IDX broker account. Selecting supplemental properties will display any listings that have been manually added in the supplemental tab under listings in your IDX broker account. Supplemental listings are listings that are not included in the data we receive from your MLS. Selecting featured plus supplemental will display all MLS listings associated with your agent or office ID and any supplemental listings you have added to your account. Selecting featured agent or agents properties will display only the current active listings of one or a selection of the agents in your office account. An office level account is necessary for this option. Selecting sold slash pending properties will display any sold or pending listings stored in your account. This property set matches listings found in the sold slash pending tab under listings in your IDX broker account. This can include your archived featured listings or supplemental listings. Selecting custom search will display a carousel based on search criteria. This option can come in handy if you would like to create a carousel for a neighborhood, subdivision, or area. You can use any search criteria available from your MLS. Selecting custom list will display a property set using a list of MLS ID numbers. This option is great if you would like to display a very specific set of properties. Simply enter in the MLS ID numbers for the properties you would like to display in the carousel. Selecting polygon search will display listings in a very specific area that maybe your MLS doesn't have accurate enough results for using search criteria alone. Using the polygon tool, you can draw a shape on a map outlining just the area of listings you want to include. Selecting build, copy and paste link will display a copy of a save link search results in widget format. I'm going to make a featured properties carousel. Next, name your widget and set the preferences. If responsive is set to yes, the widget will automatically adjust its size when viewed on smaller screens. If set to no, the widget will not be mobile responsive. You can also set the sorting order of the carousel. The number of columns sets the number of listings that show up in a single row. And you can also set the arrow opacity. Setting open widget links in a new window to yes will make the details page open in a new window when a user clicks on a property. Setting display view all results link will show a link below the widget to a results page with the full list of properties in a set if there are more listings that are displayed in the carousel widget. These settings can be changed at any time. When you have finished setting the preferences, click the build widget button. The final step in this process will display your widget code. Simply copy the code and paste it into the HTML of the web page where you would like it to appear. You can also add custom CSS to this widget using the customize widget CSS section. Once you have placed the widget embed code into your website and published the changes, you will be able to see your new property carousel immediately. If you intend to use this widget in more than one location on your website, you should duplicate the widget for the secondary location. Using the same widget instance more than once on the same page will cause display errors. For a comprehensive library of support topics, please visit support.idxbroker.com.